morning, guys. I'm very happy to have all of you guys here at church this morning. Oh, we'll let Hazel and Edward get up here, too. When you guys come to church, do you listen to the parts of the Bible that I read? Right? That's when God talks to us through the Bible, right? And, and, and I read one earlier, and there are three words in there I want to make sure you guys understand. Right, Finley? Finley, are you going to listen? Three words. Slaves, sons, and heirs. Do you guys know those words? Right? What is a slave? Okay, a person that works for somebody else, right? A, a person that has to do what they're told. They have no choice in the matter. Do you want to be a slave? No. But the Bible tells us by nature we are. We're slaves to sin, right? If you wanted to stop sinning today, could you do that? Could you just decide, I'm going to go out today and I'm going to do nothing wrong. I'm going to do everything right. We, we can't do that. We're slaves to sin. But this part of the Bible, and you'll have to listen to the regular sermon and I'll talk about it more. This part of the Bible tells us that because of Jesus, we're no longer slaves. Instead, we are sons of God. And you know what a son is, right? What's a son? A boy, right? Yeah, a boy who has a father. Your fathers love you, hopefully, right? A good father loves their kids and takes care of their kids and protects their kids. Do you think if God calls himself our father that he's a good father? Yeah, he's the best father. He loves you. He takes care of you. He sent Jesus so that you can be with him in heaven. But then that last word is the one I think you guys might not know, right? Because Paul says here that you're not a slave anymore. You're a son of God, and if you're a son, then you are also an heir. H-E-I-R, not the air that you breathe. An heir, H-E-I-R, an, uh, an heir is the person who takes over after their parents. Right? An heir is a person that inherits what their parents give them. And so that means God tells you not only are you a son, a child of God, you are also the one who gets everything that God has. Yeah, big eyes indeed, right? Think of the things that God has. He's perfect. He lives in heaven. He's always going to live in heaven. And now God says that you are an heir of that. You get to inherit that. You get to be with God in heaven. So do you think Jesus is a big thing? Yeah. All of those things are true for us because of Jesus. We're not slaves to sin. We're sons of God. And we will get all that God has in heaven. Let's hold our hands and let's thank God for bringing us into his family that way. Jesus, we thank you. During this Christmas season, we, we get to see you come into this world and, and be born as one of us to save us from our sins. We know that we're not slaves anymore. Instead, we are your brothers and sisters. We are part of your family. Help us to look forward to that day when we get to finally come home to be with you in heaven. Thank you for everything you've done. Amen. Thank you guys for coming up here. You have a Merry Christmas. You can continue, or you can, uh, you can go back to your seats. We'll continue with our hymn of the day. <laughs>